Welcome to Oversaturated Podcast, where we discuss music, movies, pop culture, and everything in between. I'm Ralph. I'm Johnny. Uh, you know we're back with another YouTube ex- exclusive, 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 exclusive. <laughs> we're working on it, people. Yeah. But- <laughs> We're back with another album review. When you see this layout, you see us here, we're more than likely talking album reviews, hip-hop albums for right now. We got a brand new person that we never really heard of before 2020. Never. Boldy James out of Detroit, Michigan. Um, Part of this new wave going on in Detroit. Um, I heard some chatter on the internet about this album, and I wanted to, me and my brother, kind of sit down and get into this album. Yes. Now, this album came out... uh, Sometime this year, I'm not sure about the actual date, but The Price of Tea in China by Bodie J. Bodie J. Bodie. Yeah. Yeah. Like bold letters with yeah. a Y. Yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> but uh, it's a short album. Yes. 12 songs, 39 minutes. Which I was happy about when you told me to listen to it. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't, I wouldn't send you in blindly to some shit. Like, you know, I, now, I mean, hey. That's great. how he my man. He, know he knows his boy. Now, granted. We may not agree on whatever we finna talk about. Right, right, right. But and that's I, okay. But I know that at least I can get him to listen to maybe this. This is 39 minutes. It ain't even that long. Yeah, like it's... Yeah. <laughs> 12 songs, and then we got a few notable features. Yes. We got Benny the Butcher. Yes. Vince Staples. Yes. Freddie Gibbs. Yep. Now, I'm not sure if I'm missing anybody else. Uh, Somebody named Evidence, but not quite sure who that is. No. So, that's why I said no feature. Yeah. But <laughs> but um expectations, Johnny. I'm pretty sure you had none. But Zip. Okay. I have no clue who this is. Okay. I was listening to one of my favorite pods and they were talking about uh a new sound going on in Detroit and mm-hmm. just multiple people coming up, you know, in the city. Mm-hmm. Bodie James was a name that was mentioned and this album was mentioned. So I was like, you know, it's kinda like a blind trust. Mm-hmm. You know, you listen you know, you listen to people, you kinda Understand maybe what their musical taste are. You're like, okay, well, it can't be that bad. Yeah, let me go. Let me check it out. So right. when I checked it out, I ran back the album about maybe three times before I even told Johnny what 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 was going on. Okay. So my expectations were kind of low. <clears throat> I mean, even though this is like somebody I don't know per se, but just listening to the tape on you know the new Detroit sound and everything, I just wanted to see what that was. Right. So I was like, it it was low. Okay. I didn't really have yeah. like you know expect like oh it's gonna be fire. Now when you when you listen to that pod and they mentioned the new sound out of Detroit, yeah. how did they describe that sound? Well, um, just a different like this was the notable album that they used, and I think they sound they said it was kind of like going to be like a new hot bed coming like as far as like maybe how the music industry views Atlanta. Mm-hmm. Like Detroit is very multifaceted, right? Right. When it comes to the sound, like mm-hmm. you got street, you got the super lyrical, you got the backpack, you got you got it all. You got it all. Yeah. And then I think even Boldy encompasses a lot of the street with the backpack a little bit. Mm-hmm. Like as far as the sound goes. It's kind of, this album, before we get into it, it kind of gives me Freddie Gibbs uh, vibes. Interesting. Okay. Like what the album from last year. Okay. Bandana, right? Yeah. Just as far as like what he's rapping about on top of the beats that he chose. Interesting. Because Listen. Alchemist produced this whole album. So it's a, it's a, mm-hmm. it's a, it's a. Okay. It's a you know that's interesting. I didn't get I didn't get that. I didn't get that feel. That that's a, that's what that's what I got. Hmm. But let's get into it. You got any eyes for this album? Um. So okay, Bodie James. Mm-hmm. I li- I think I went through this album because it's so short. I think I went through it like three times. Yeah. Um. Lowest of keys. He mm-hmm. he got some bars. I can't front about it. Mm-hmm. This is my only high. Oh okay. My only high for this album. He got bars, but that, that's the like only. it's like low key. Like okay, he I feel like he really needs to work on his delivery. Okay, it's very difficult for me to want to listen to him because the way that he's actually delivering what he says, the way the way he raps is very boring to me. It's hard to like, okay. like like listen. Like his his inflections aren't really there. His, okay. It's it's kind of like he's talking like talking over a beat. I don't like that. Like, it's difficult for me to listen to. Okay. Like, it's really hard. Okay. And the beats were low-key boring. So, Al- like, Al- Al- <laughs> these boring beats on top of him not really rapping that well is like, ugh. Okay. So, it, it kind of, it, it was hard for me. The, fir- the first listen was really hard. Mm-hmm. 
but I caught some of the things he was saying. Yeah. I was like, all right, let me let me for real listen. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. that's why I was like, okay, he can re- like he can rap, mm-hmm. but is he? It's delivery. Yeah. Ugh. It's, <laughs> it's from, almost cringeworthy. You went from highs to lows real quick. I'm but sorry. Okay. I just, highs, highs for me. My bad. <laughs> <laughs> now, highs was definitely like, I think uh, any song that he had a feature on was definitely like a good high. Like, and I don't think that his features out did him any, like, I don't think like Benny did him bad. I don't think Vince did him bad. I don't think, I don't think they did him bad. I disagree. I disagree. The only feat, and I didn't, I didn't like Freddie Gibbs. Okay, I'm still. My you don't like you. Don't. My bad. Go ahead. My bad. Go ahead. Because <laughs> I'm going back to Lowe's. I want you to finish. Because I'm about to say Freddie Gibbs. That that song was actually good. <laughs> Maybe you need to grow on me. I don't know. I don't know. But I didn't. Freddie Gibbs started out rapping mm-hmm. on that song phenomenal, phenomenally. Mm-hmm. But he switched his flow up, and it was like it was really bad. Like it was really bad when he switched up his flow. Okay. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> this is what happens when he tells me to listen to new shit. <laughs> okay. Well, um, phone bill was a dope song. I think even with what he was trying to do, I will agree with you. I think that his flow is boring. Mm-hmm. But um, I'm not really a fan of Alchemist production either. But this project is enough for me to want to go and maybe see what he does next. Mm-hmm. And I think that was the biggest thing that I took away. Because <coughs> I think that it being so short, and I enjoyed the, the content that he was delivering. Mm-hmm. Like, I think he put words well, together well. Mm-hmm. I don't think it's just maybe, like you said, it's the delivery thing. Because I do have that. I, I don't think he switches flow too many times on his album. At all. Now, another, another high, I guess. Mm-hmm. Um, this album does give me like a slightly lesser grimy Griselda, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Like I, I get a Griselda feel from from this guy. Yeah, because um, when him and Benny was going back and forth, I think it was good. Like that's why I said I don't think he got watched by any anybody he had on the album. Maybe he didn't get watched by Benny, but I think Vince ate him. I think Vince ate him. That's oh, yeah. real. Well, Vince is the better rapper. So is Benny and Free Gibbs. No, I said Vince is the best rapper on this album. Oh, on the album. Oh, oh, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah, gotcha. I think he raps better than, than Freddie. I fuck with Freddie. Really? You think, wait, well, maybe Freddie. Well, sh- he raps better. Rap better than me. Maybe. He raps better with than Benny, Benny. Maybe it's recency bias. It is. Because Benny. And Benny. I don't even fuck with Vince. But I think he raps better than Benny. <laughs> like, y'all gotta stop doing that Benny Butcher shit. Like, it's the it's the griminess. Like, no, I think- swear Benny ain't been snapping, though. Like, yes, Benny is grimy, but he be rapping. Like, rapping, rapping. He the best rap out of Brazil? Oh, yeah. Okay. Yeah, that's not saying much. <laughs> Thanks. But, saying, but, he, but, he rap better than Conway and Westside. I mean, but... Uh, I think... We done got off a of side we, part, we, but yeah, I, think, I think Vince... Like and I ain't saying he's light years better. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't, don't I don't want to I don't want to put that out. Oh, there. Maybe I said maybe that. that's what I was maybe that's what but I was. But Vince, I think he is the better technically skilled rapper of all four people, okay. even including the guy on this album. Okay. But I enjoyed I enjoyed his verse. I enjoyed what he did on that song. Okay. I, I'm I'm not mad at it. So I'm not mad at it. But yeah. So basically I, I think he's gonna trash this album. But I'm gonna ask him. I'm not gonna trash it. <laughs> what's this I'm what's your what's your what's your rating? I can't even get it out. <laughs> Only because his delivery and the production mm-hmm. is not that great. Mm-hmm. I'm going to give it a one and a half, one point five. Yeah. If he like, even if he delivered his raps better on these same beats, mm-hmm. I could maybe give it a two, two mm-hmm. and a half. Because he he can rap, he just has to work on his delivery. I wonder how old this dude is. And that's, the, and that's the thing. That's why I'm not holding his feet to the fire on any of it. I think, it, I think as much as I gripe about the album, I still think it's decent. Now, decent can't be in parallel with what I just gave Jake. Facts. Because <laughs> I gave Jake a two. You gave facts, so I need to hear this. I'll give him a two. All right, man. It's, it's already. But I give him a two. But I mean, like I said, I enjoyed this album for the most part. You, yeah. you picked it apart. That's <laughs> what, what I do. I, I I love the technicality. Like I love rap, but I love the technicality of rap. So mm-hmm. 
when I listen to a rap album, mm-hmm. I'm always listening for that. And mm-hmm. technically, he doesn't really rap that well. Mm-hmm. So everybody can't rap like that, Johnny. I don't. I don't mean like. <laughs> fa- I don't mean like fast and that type of shit. Oh, but okay. yeah, like he, like you said, he does put words together. Yeah, that's but the way he like the way he says it. Like you gotta. It's okay to be able to write shit, mm-hmm. but you got you also have to deliver it. Oh, yeah. Which I is why, it. which is probably why Drake's so fucking hot. Like he delivers his shit great. Not only rap, but you know all the rate, all the other bullshit. So, yeah, that's all. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying. He he's not a bad rapper. He just doesn't deliver well. That's all. Just off the strength of this project, he, he can. Would you? Okay, so if he comes out with another project, would you at least try to listen? Oh yeah, yeah, definitely. Okay, definitely, definitely. Bodie is no no none personal. Oh yeah, de- listen, bro. I'm only here to help. That's all. I'm only <laughs> we, here we, to help. we fans. Like we we just became well, you know, we just became like you know fans or just came across the project, you know, within the past yeah. week or so. So, um, hey, I think you have a lot of room to grow. I think that uh, what you're doing is dope. Keep putting yourself on. Keep putting your city on. And hey, man, salute to you, King. It's only up from here, man. Facts. It's only up. Facts. Come talk about all the saturated. We want to talk to you. <laughs> yeah, we'd love to have you, man. Yeah, man. But, hey, if you made it this far, uh, let us know what you think in the comments below. Comment, rate, and subscribe. Hit the notification bell. Mm-hmm. You won't miss anything that we do. And uh, we out. Peace. Peace. Oh. I wasn't too harsh, was I? <laughs>